So me and Blake are headed to a closing right now. Um, I just got through doing live cold calls for a lot of the agents at Remix of Orange Beach. So that was really, really cool. My broker was there and we did like a class on cold calls. It was it was really, really good, man. Like I made some calls in front of everybody. What's up guys? You yeah, know, had some really good results and just talked to talk to the company, Remax of Orange Beach. I told them exactly how I find phone numbers, what I say, how I do it, how I call them, the whole nine yards. And I told them, look guys, like there's an unlimited amount of people in your market who will only do business with you once you actually find them.
guy you need to thank him the most. He's got you two leads coming in town. <laughs> you better get that lunch. You better get that wallet open, boy, but you ready. <laughs> Wife is having her first closing as a real estate agent. We got closings on the same day at the same time. She just pulled up to the title company. Check this out. Mm. You excited? Yes. I'm was in a it, hurry. Was it fun? I'm going into it now. My closing is going on right now, and I'm not in there. <laughs> this is how I like to roll. All right, I gotta get. I gotta get back. Interviewer. My people are on their way. Okay. Oh, okay. Bye. How's it going? It's going well. Yeah, are you excited? No. No. Yes. Yeah, you're nervous excited? Look, I don't have time for this. Look guys, here's the thing. Closings are happening every single day. If you look in your MLS, they're happening every single day. So there's no excuse for why you can't do business like the business is there the problem is you're not making phone calls you're not calling people you're not talking to people you're not having conversations and if you are having conversations you're not having enough conversations if you're not having the amount of closings you want to have but yeah incredible phone session we got it all on tape I'll put it on YouTube next week or sometime and uh, you guys reach out with questions much love to you guys um, I'm gonna finish the week strong I hope you guys do the same we'll talk to you soon Yeah, six sixty nine. Okay, I'm gonna see if they wanna look at it and then is it vacant? Um, I'd have to call the owner, you know, you can't rent in there, so it's just a second home. Um, are your people look are your people looking to rent? No. Okay, okay, cool. Um, I just have to call the owner. I, I, I don't think anybody's down, but I'd have to call and just make sure that, you know, they're not down. Homeowners insurance, you know, the way they have it. They're gonna, okay. they're gonna keep that active until they move out, which they said that they actually should be out maybe that next day, you know, because because okay. we'll have yeah. the clear we'll have the clear to close and we'll know for sure that we're closing ahead of time, uh, what right. day and stuff, and they're already gonna have boxes packed up and stuff. So, um, okay. I don't see them being in there more than maybe 24 to 48 hours. But yeah, we're good on all that. They're gonna keep all that active and they're gonna pay that fifty dollar okay. deal. We can just leave that other addendum as part of the deal. If you want to do if that makes you guys feel better. If I were you, I would have gone too. If my life was such a mess, I wouldn't be you. cold calls uh, with all the agents of Remix of Orange Beach or a lot of the agents that come to the training sessions that my broker does. So that's going to be fun. Um, going to do a couple call, live cold calls. I'm just going to ask for a phone number from anybody. Like, give me a phone number. I'll call. And then just to show them that it's, you don't have to be scared to call. And then headed to the closing. Going to go show some stuff. Then I got the Zero to Diamond podcast today. I got, uh, Chase Mayer on the show. He's uh, he's kind of like a, maybe a four-year agent out of uh, California, doing really super well, so that's gonna be good. Bill is not there, Portside's vacant. Like, and a partridge in a pear tree, like tons of stuff. Okay, what is up, guys? So here's the deal. My guest this week, Chase Mayer, he didn't have a good internet connection, so he, he couldn't join us. We tried a couple times and it just didn't work out, so 
Um, I'm just going to do a live Q&A coaching session right here and now uh, on the fly for everybody. Um, I just went, you know, switched to free for all my coaching. So that was about a week or so ago. And so I'm sure there's a lot of new people in the program. So I don't mind going live a little more frequently just to answer everybody's questions and stuff because I do get a lot of emails and a lot of messages and it's really hard to get to every single last one of them. So I feel like this is a good way for me to, uh, you know, to just to reach back out to you guys and answer questions and what's up guys on Instagram. And just make sure you guys are getting taken care of and have all your questions answered. Uh, let's see, you got a question on Instagram. I notice you do a lot of showings. Do you prefer those over open houses? Don't do a lot of open houses, and here's the reason why. Open houses just aren't like a big thing in my market. If I was in a market where open houses was like a must, and everybody, you know, all this, and I started losing listings because I'm not doing open houses, then I would absolutely start doing open, I would be the open house king. Jimmy Kim, is there a way to do one-on-one -on -one with you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm open to it. I'm not like offering it publicly at all, but if someone really wants some one-on-one, -on -one, you know, then, you know, we can arrange something. This is my way. This is my system to do it this way, do it for free, give you guys everything I got for nothing, and, you know, teach you guys everything I know. And that way, if I'm if I'm doing it for free, there's not a lot of expectations on each side. I can give you everything I got, and if you don't like it, then it's like, okay, it's free, right? So you can take a lot of what I do, mix it up with what you do, and go crush it. You can take everything I do and do it to a T and go crush it. You know, you can learn everything that I got and say I don't like any of it and go away. But here's the difference: zero to diamond is is a mindset right it's a mindset that everything in real estate is a win-win you have dual purpose have more than one purpose for everything you do um, value tra uh, relationships over transactions every single time you want long-term relationships whatever agent has the most relationships with property owners owns all the market share in that in that market period all of your goals should be action oriented I'm gonna make this many calls I'm gonna send this many letters I'm gonna do this much Facebook stuff I'm going to do this many postcards. I'm going to do this many emails. I'm going to do an email every week. I'm going to do phone calls three times a week. Whatever it is, your goal should be focused around actions, not results, because you can't control the results. Yeah.